there was a, a very important event yesterday. Uh, it was kind of clashing with Tucker Carlson, which was dominating the Twitter, but Ukrainian Twitter was dominated by the change in leadership. Yeah, I was um, going to ask so about that. Yeah. The first time during the war, uh, the commander in chief was replaced. So it used to be a super popular general. Valery Zaluzhny, uh, who often uh, published his op-eds in, in, say, Economist at the time, very outspoken. But other than that, very shy. He wasn't all over Ukrainian uh, social media, mass media, very hard to get an interview with him, practically impossible. Um, Ukrainians, both civilians and military, love Zaluzhny. So in many ways, it was... Uh, a very interesting move. I am not in a position to question the decisions of um, the office of president. Obviously, Zelensky know what he's doing. He right. knows what he's doing, uh, and I hope he does very well in this case because Sirsky has a certain reputation. He's been um, a, a general and a leader, a military leader since 2014. Uh, he led a group out of Dibaltseva, uh, which is a very famous battle in the very beginning of the Russian invasion 10 years ago. Um, and he's also known during the full-scale invasion for the Battle of Kiev, where he managed to push the Russians out, and also the glorious victory in Kharkov region, uh, where it was very successful, very fast, very swift. And that led, it was a very uh, smart maneuver because Russians didn't expect it. As a result, they were, uh, they were preparing in Kherson. They had to rush their troops to Kharkov. Meanwhile, Ukrainians attacked uh, and advanced in Kherson as well and liberated both Kharkov and Kherson. So in a way, Sirsky is responsible for these brilliant moves. However, there are some questions to him. Uh, one of them, uh, unfortunately, he was born in the USSR in the Republic of Russia, which is now Russian Federation. Uh, he was educated there and at, at late teen, as a late teen, came to Ukraine and stayed here ever since. But he's an ethnic Russian. Uh, and as you can imagine, it's a very um, controversial situation. Yeah. Uh, especially because uh, his parents and his sibling are still in Russia. And I just did some research it looks like he's separated and completely out of touch, but they seem to be on the Russian side. Um, well, I would know better than anybody else that you do not choose where you are born. You choose where your loyalty is. You choose where your actions are. Because I was also born in the USSR. I was born in Russia, and I'm fighting on the Ukrainian side. Uh, and I chose to be an American. So, um, however, I didn't become uh, the uh, commander in chief. I probably uh -huh. wouldn't. Right. So that's a difficult situation. Also, he is known for being a bit more ruthless than Zaluzhny. At least that that's the word on the street. So there's a concern that he will be less concerned about the lives of the soldiers. Okay. However, I listened to some experts, Ukrainian experts, who are saying that this is also the Kremlin narrative and they're trying to discredit mm -hmm. the new leadership. Which oh, it's so what? Much like them. Yeah. So it is, we are to see what happens, what is the aftermath of this change. Maybe there is some reason, I happen to feel there's some reason into it. Um, they need to change their strategy. They need to change tactics uh, because to win this war, Ukrainians have to be smart. I heard a very good title, which was Beehive Against Mammoths. 